We're gonna take a look at two ways to create a quick vignette in Photoshop. Open a photo in Photoshop, subscribe to this channel, go to the Layers panel, right-click on the layer, and convert it to a smart object. That way you'll be working non-destructively, and so any changes that you do on this layer are fully editable. Now with this smart object still activated, go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. And the first way to add a vignette is using the vignette slider here under the effects section. Move it to the left to create a black vignette and to the right to create a white vignette. I'll keep it on the left. And if you don't see all these settings, you might need to click this arrow here to reveal them. Let's set the style to highlight priority and you can use the midpoint slider to move the vignette to the center or make it only appear on the edges. Use the roundness slider to make the vignette a square a circle or an oval, use the feather slider to make the vignette smoother or harder, and use the highlight slider to control how much the vignette affects the highlights in the photo. When you're done, press enter or click OK to confirm. The vignette is applied as a smart filter and you can double click on it to make further changes. The second way to add vignette gives us much more control. Again, make sure the layer is a smart object and that you have subscribed to this channel and then go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. But this time we're gonna click on this button to add a mask and then let's click Radial Gradient. Now you can click and drag on the photo to manually create the vignette. You can also adjust its shape and its position after you create it. Click here to turn off the overlay and let's scroll down and decrease the exposure. We want to affect the area outside the mask, so I'm gonna scroll up and click this button to invert it. And we have all these sliders here that we can play with to control the vignette. I'll use some of them like the feather slider, the highlight slider, and here under color, you can actually click on this box to set a specific color for the vignette, like blue, for example. Adjust the saturation and then click OK. Click OK again, and now, you can click the bell icon and turn on notifications.